evening. The mic's on. The stream's muted. It's time to play some Elite and have some shenanigans. Yes, excellent. Very good. <clears throat> All right. What are we up to tonight, you may ask? Well... Um, so, the last thing I did before bed was I grabbed... Um, a mission out in Maya. Uh, and I, I just went to the next sector over... And I did that. So the other thing that I did was I bought uh, one ton of meta alloys, which I can take to one of the engineers, which it says right over here, view engineers. I can take it to uh, Felicity Farseer. Ship detach complete. Expedite climb to exit altitude. Landing gear retracted. So what I'm planning to do is get not mass lock. It's funny that sometimes ships have higher mass lock factors than fucking planets. All clear. Federal flight control signing off. Like this, no problem. Rock and roll. Um, so there are a couple of things that I wanted to do. Um, uh, to give my give the stream some and also my gameplay just some Four, um, three, structure two, one, engage. is to oh man it's not showing the game guess I should do that good thing I was looking at myself there we go no harm no foul right I want to change the stream to look more like this shirt that I'm wearing that is uh, actually like bright blue fuel scooping fuel scoop disengaged I should scan the nav beacon um yeah so anyhow um, so, one of the things that I do not have is really very much rep with particularly anyone in the galaxy except the people who I just am generally bounty hunting with because that's a, a good spot. Like, I just kind of picked a good spot. So, there are a couple of different activities that <clears throat> I'm going to look into doing. Um, good. Good. I also learned this today, that if you scan the nav beacon, that you should... Nope, oh, guys, I want to stop. Oh. Excellent. It reveals all of the things in the system. I did not know that before now, but now I do. Um, so, anyhow. Uh, I was at... Yeah, I was at Darnell's Progress. Scan detected. Uh -oh. Frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage. Out of here, boys. Four, three, two. Nope. One. Cargo does not engage. belong to you, friends. I am out of here. Um. So yeah, there are a couple of rep things that I can do. So this is, I believe, Empire controlled here. Uh, we'll see when we make landing, but I think it's. Rui, Rui, Li Yong Rui. I think. I think. I think.
Uh, so anyhow, there are a couple of things that I, I can do. Um, start, like, gaining rep with the Empire, um, gaining rep with some various planets. Uh, maybe work towards some of the Empire Imperial ships. Because those are things that I have, as you can see over here, uh, I have literally 0% rank, even though I am cordial with the Empire. Uh, I don't have... Uh, any kind of real rep gain, etc. So yeah, so what I'm doing here is orbital slow down, slide engaged. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I'm way too fucking fast. Oh well. going to be 20 kilometers, 29 kilometers out. Oh well. So that was not, I'm trying to work on this landing. I'm pretty much straight above it. Uh, getting better, getting better. Good evening, Turgid Bulk. How are you? Yes, the Atmo break um, is doing it. I have uh, just gotten Elite Dangerous Horizons, which allows planetary landings, so this is like, even though the game is two years old, this is like my third or fourth landing attempt ever. Uh, and there are a few that I've done pretty well. That one was... okay. Bravo, Alpha Delta. Welcome, Commander. Please restrict your speed when approaching this Could have been worse, port. is what I will say. So if I'd let the glide go, I probably would have end up, ended up further away, even though it would have been, like, more quote-unquote correct. Access granted. Adjust right, heading so for approach to badge 07. Bulk says, I haven't seen much of this game, but I've been playing Kerbal Space Program, so I'm up on my space pile, and I, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to level with you. You are probably way more up on your space pile than me. Drainus alert. And crunch. See? Shields offline. That was gross and bad. I forgot that there's, like, an atmosphere. Zone, yeah, I know. Your weapons immediately. Hopefully I can... Deployed. God, that was bad. Uh, there's too much gravity here. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to their... Oh, I missed it. I missed it low, and there's the ground. Shields online. Landing complete. Clear to disembark. Oh, I can't Welcome, repair Commander. here? Enjoy your visit. Oh, that's a bummer. Alright, so, anyway... I sell anything? Okay, no, I cannot. But I will be able to sell some stuff the next time I go somewhere else. Passenger lounge. Oh, no, I do not want that. Mission board. So, I'm here. I'm a couple of hundred light years out of the most densely populated space. Uh, and what I'm looking to do is pick up some missions. Uh, try and get back to space. Yeah, stuff like this. Like, uh, 300 light years million credits for 300 light years both to the same spot like that that all looks good that's that's what i'm looking to do same spot uh 21 22 2 i have space for all of those seven man th they really want explosives to go all over the place um what else do we have explosives massacre 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 no Explosive. They really want explosives to go places, don't they? Oh, Kermit, you look so sad. 
communists. Yes, they are. This is an anarchic section. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... So I should have 63 units of cargo space. I can find that. Where? Inventory. Cabins. Ship cargo. 4 out of 64. What's what's in there? Okay, so I have six, excuse me, 60 uh, units of space. So I basically want to cram as much money into the, the hold as I can. So this is a million seven. So I want to do this because it's two units. So that's easy. I accept. Mission failed. Uh. What? Okay. Stolen. Well, that was weird as hell. All right, let's try again. Yeah, that was that was very quick. All right, so hostile ships may be sending two million medium increase starport. Except unique. Uh, was it like? The time was running out on them, something like that? Mission failed. Is this a place that I can't go? I'm very confused right now. Is there some restriction on it? Usually, if there is any kind of restriction, it just doesn't let you pick the mission up. Like, usually, it, the restriction is like, well, you can't do this yet. Um, well, I'm gonna sell these. Able to complete transaction. Because they're stolen. Fuck. Okay. Unable to complete tra transaction. Yeah, it does seem to be bug. I may log out and log back in. Haulage. So this doesn't say it's stolen. I am definitely going to log out and log back in. It is also definitely a bummer to lose out on what could have been a couple of million credits pretty easily. Just for hauling stuff. Well, real elite starts here, I guess. And I don't know. I was really looking forward to delivering two, uh, two tons of stuff for like a million credits. My reputation is neutral with the anthill mob. All right. Boom time delivery. Boom time delivery. Deliver stabilizers. Five hundred, six hundred. Mission rank exceeds your rank, but that doesn't keep me from doing it. Mission failed. What's going on? Alright, I may just not take any missions. It also didn't fill my... This is beyond strange. Now they're stolen. Well, can I... Sell them on the black market, since they're stolen. Uh, 
Okay, I at least did that. <sighs> One more time. And it also, it doesn't say, it says it fails right away, but it also says that there's a uh, penalty for failing, which is um, a cr like a, f a fine. And I'm not getting that fine. It's 33, 18, 21. So, like, so, hostile ships may be sent against you. Okay, fine. Mission failure could lead to a fine. Okay, fine. Mission rank, entrepreneur exceeds your current rank. That shouldn't stop anything from happening. Unless my cargo hold's damaged? Huh. Okay. Cargo hatch is um, fine. Chaff launcher is okay. This is beyond weird. All right, one more try, and if it fails, I'll ditch it and sell it, and then I'll be on my way. But I was hoping that I could take some long range missions because I was headed back the door. The direction they were coming. Mission failed. Um, t reputation. Is there something where you can't land somewhere before delivering it? Um, these don't look like it. I should be able to get to all of these places. I mean, like, you know, emphasis on should, but. Mission failed. Yeah, I don't know. This is funky. I've never had anything like this happen. Uh, I guess it's a weird way to make free money. I can also go open. Uh, so this is me just in a solo instance right now. Wink, find my cargo. It's not even like I'm making any money out of this. All right. So it's not like I'm I'm making out by like oh failing that, but nothing happens, so I make the money back. Like it just it's only a couple of thousand credits, and I have a couple of million right now. <laughs> I mean, every credit counts, right? But it's not really making me a ton of money. I, I would much rather be hauling it for a lot, lot more money. Because it's not special, it just happens to be stolen. <sighs> okay, so I do not meet that rep thing. Don't meet that rep thing. Deliver nine units of silver. So so you see here, requirements not met. It's because my rep's not high enough, but these say it's fine. That mission worked. Ooh. Okay. Fine. Thanks, goats. Okay, so I can fit nine more nine more cargoes. Those worked. I don't know, maybe I don't know. I don't have a good answer for why that didn't work. Delivery. No idea. Well, okay. I got some missions. And that's fine. Starport Ferris Landing, LTT 10083. 
Cool. Going to the same place. So this is what? Uh, almost two million credits for going to the same spot. Nope, nope. There we go. And there we go. Cool. Fifteen jumps. Yeah, that sounds about right. So where is this again? So this is... Wait, what the hell? Oh, no. Very confused. All right, so I want to go to LT... LTT 10.0.8.2.3. Just want to make sure I'm going to the right. That's this. Okay. All right. That's a little goofy. All right. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Hopefully I don't get shot at because I already damaged my ship. So there's a very good chance I'll get interdicted by pirates. Um, hopefully I will be able to either avoid the interdiction or submit and outrun them. Um, the ASP is pretty fast and I have it uprated, but not engineered. Ship restraints withdrawn. You may depart when ready. Landing gear retracted. Incoming mission critical message. Be careful. Uh, if I destroy this person, I get an extra amount of monies. Friendship drive out. charging. It looks like. Four, three. I like that they're two, offering little bonuses one, on missions engage. now. That's. It may not be a new thing, but it's new to me. So what was it? Be careful, you're. Counter, target, Anake, 30,000 credits. So if this is somebody that is not, like, rough and tumble, I might take them on. But I don't have amazing shields, just enough shields to keep me from getting blowed up real bad. Just out of... Gravity. There we go. Now we're moving. Frame Away we go. Charging. Hello, Turgid Bulk. I'm very hopeful that that is the weirdest thing that you will see this evening. Although I did see a neutron Four, star three, yesterday, two, and that one, was weird as shit. This game looks immersive as hell. It is, in some ways, extremely immersive. Um, oh, that was weird. That was not usual for a jump. I think the computer is just being funky right now. Oh, I'm still in the open space. I might want to go to... No, I'll be okay. Maya is a very popular spot. Please don't crash. Okay. Um, Maya is a very popular spot, but this particular place back is is not likely to be super popular. Um, it is, in some ways, fantastically immersive, and in a lot of good ways, not immersive at all. Like, frame shift drive charging. Um, angular momentum in space. Uh, you can turn off flight assist that makes it like um, airplanes that just stick in the sky. But Four, if you throttle three, down, you two, stop. It like it one, it just engage. automatically applies it automatically applies retro rockets that make you stop where you are rather than just oh my forward momentum stopped so I'm stopping. So in a lot of 
good and intuitive ways for how we think about movement in games. It's not immersive, but there's other stuff like, oh, here are all my loadouts. Do I have enough power for them? How heavy are they? How many jumps can I go with this amount of fuel? Blah, blah, blah. That are super immersive, and that stuff is cool. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Fuel it scooping. also, like, in some ways it actually caters to... Fuel scoop disengaged. The, the amount of immersion that you drive want. Charging. Like, you can go all over in the galaxy if you want and see all kinds of stars and just do that and whatever. Or you can, like, just stay right around Four, three, 50 light years two, from one, our solar system engage. and just pick missions and get a space truck and go space truck and just hang out and do that. You know what I mean? Like... Those pirates are tall. Oh, uh oh, she's gonna follow me. So, <laughs> Anarchy's here. I should check and see what kind of uh, ship that is. Actually, curious. Fuel scooping. So that means I probably don't want to do any fuel scooping. All right, no contacts. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift I didn't drive even notice. Charging. So I'm in what's called super cruise right now, which means that I'm going at fractions or above the speed of light. Um, no one, when you're in super cruise, you're kind of like in Four, a subspace three, state two, where people can one, see that you're moving engage. around inside the solar system, but they can't interact with you unless they interdict you, which is like directly confront you. And even then they can't shoot you until they break you out with an interdiction. Yes, I saw her. Fuel scooping. So there's a decent Fuel chance a lot of jumps. There's an okay chance that I can make it without having to stop to scoop a lot of fuel. Frame shift drive charging. So she or he, whomever, uh, basically would need a frame shift drive scanner and to follow me where I'm going. I was a little bit on autopilot, I didn't even realize it. Fuel scoop disengaged. Good thing Frame space is big and you charging. are small. That is absolutely true. So there is a cobra. There. Okay, so. Four, three, you know two, what? One. A Engage. mostly harmless cobra for 30,000 free credits is something that I might do. Although, if she's wanted, uh, and somebody, if, if she's not wanted, that is a cobra mark four, though. If I was them, I'd be waiting at the delivery point. That's, that's good thinking. Uh, at the delivery point is probably... Um, fuel scooping. Some sort of uh, security force for the system. Fuel scoop who would be disengaged. there to intercept intercept Friendship her as she was trying charging. to intercept me. Although I have. There have been some missions, um, so there are smuggling missions in this game. You you take illegal cargo, and, and if somebody completes Four, three, uh, contents, a cargo two, scan on you, you one, lose the mission. Uh, I've had people, like, nipping at my shields right up to the base where I was going in at full speed, running full silent, so no one could see and get a scan on me. So that does happen. It's not amazingly common. But you know. Fuel scoop 
scooping. He jumps left. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. So, how are you doing this evening? How's your week been going? Anything of interest? Anything of note? Four, three, two, one, engage. Try and pop this chair so I'm not so hunched down. There we go. Sitting up straight. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to get out of range of. I'm actually pulling away. Lawless mission target. Okay. So is she going to actually try and interdict me? Because we're both going ten times the speed of light right now. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Nothing new with me, but I've managed to fly by the moon in Kerbal Space Program. Is that something that you've been playing a long time? Kerbal Space Program, uh... Frame shift drive charging. Like Elite feels like a game where you start playing it, and then there's a new thing to play all the time forever. Four, three, two, Either one, from being in a sandbox, engage. or from... You know, what have you. Only started last week. Okay, so you are a Kerbal Space Program newbie, so is that your first moon flyby? Engaged. Frame shift drive charging. Not going to worry about that, lady. Four, three, two, one, engage. So, what's my situation in this game? Uh, tough question to answer. I have a few ships. Uh, I'm Fuel not scooping. particularly affiliated or integrated with um, any particular factions or systems. Fuel scoop disengaged. Um, a Frame lot of money is relative. I do have a decent amount of money. 
but you'll note that I've got whatever it is, a couple of million credits, and and literally just these two jobs Four, three, is paying two, almost more than one, a quarter of that, almost engage. half of what I have in my bank account right now. Or am I just doing some trading back and forth, or do I have a story goal? Um. So in this particular instance, uh, I was out at this system to get a thing, like, um, Fuel scooping. I guess you could call it a, a story thing. It's a me mechanics thing as much as it's Fuel a story scooping. thing. Basically, there's, um... Fuel scoop disengaged. Friendship not gonna, drive not charging. bother with you, Anarchy. Anyway, so there's this thing in, in the expansion called Engineers. Um, and if you do certain things, you... They basically, they contact you and they say, Four, hey, come talk to me. Three, and you go two, talk to the engineers. One, engage. And they say, uh, I'd love to work with you, but you have to do X, Y, or Z. Um, so in this case, it was get uh, meta alloys, which was out at the system where all of my missions were failing weirdly. Uh, anyway, it was, went out and got... A, a stack of meta alloys, but that is about 300 light years or so away from occupied space. So there's not a, t I mean, there's some things, but there's not a ton in between. A lot of unknown and un unidentified systems, at least to me. Um, Frame shift drive charging. So I said, oh well, I'm going to be heading back to um, occupied space. I have a couple of goals that I personally want to get into. So I'm going to do that, Four, and I'm going to get these three, missions. Two, one, so engage. I just got the the full story is I just got the expansion on Monday, maybe even Tuesday. So I'm kind of exploring and figure out figuring out what all of that stuff is. So I'm trying to find direction. A, a big thing I think about this game is that uh, if you the missions that the stations offer will lead you somewhere if you let them. Fuel scooping. But there's not like an RPG style story. Uh oh, now I'm getting contacted Fuel by scoop. Christy Disengage. Jones. Frame shift drive charging. So what I've decided for myself is oh, there's that interdiction. Ready to engage. Ah, crap. Probably not good for my ship. There we go. Four, Bye. Three, two, one, engage. So I've decided to figure out what the what is going on with like engineers and that sort of thing, like start building up with them, because what the engineers do is they allow you to upgrade parts on your ship beyond just like, oh well I bought the best thing that goes in this slot, you can... It's like the, um, shoot, what's her name, the, like the Artificer, I guess, in um, Diablo 3. Fuel scooping. The Enchanter, there she is, or, or whatever she's called. Uh, where she, you know you put something in the slot and then you say I want to modify it disengaged and Frame it makes it drive, better in some ways and worse in some ways and you, I, my understanding is that as you go along you um, more directly customize what you want with your ships Four, so I've literally three, just started two, doing that basically one, yesterday engage. just barely dipped my toe in um, but I have another couple of goals in mind as well And here I am, I made it. Heading out to Ferris Landing to turn in my quests. 
so my plan for this evening was uh, I was expecting to pick up more than these two quests, but here we are. Uh, do some quests out from Maya back to occupied space. Jump from here. Oops, got too close. Uh, go from here to the engineer that I bought that piece of equipment for. Uh, if there's anything that I can take along the way, that'll... Oh, God damn it. Being interdicted under military rules of engagement? What the hell? This is, is kind of crazy. is going on. I guess they're anarchists, right? I guess the government doesn't want me delivering explosives even if it's not illegal. I don't know, I've never been to the system before, but I, I, I guess I kind of talked my way through it, didn't I? I don't think it's stolen. But I will take a look at it once I drop it out of Super Cruise here. Thankfully, these were fairly low level missions, so all the people they were sending against me were not particularly uh, rough and tumble. Inventory. College. It does not say it's stolen. Either thing. Oh, not even... I'm not even carrying this stupid... Docking request granted. Duh. I'm not even carrying explosives. I have no idea why people are all after me. Hey, you crashed into the planet and your ship's all beat up. Brrr. Deployed. So yeah, this is where it's less of a simulation and where the uh, retro rockets kick in to make sure that you don't just slam into literally every spaceport. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Thanks. Please repair my ship. I hope I'm pounding use on the, the guns on that ship. You might need them sooner than you think. Damn, this is a rough place. <laughs> Close enough. Nice. So. Uh, I increased my reputation with the people I delivered it from. I increased my in hers alliance, which is the people I just delivered it to. But I'm also going to increase my re increase my reputation with them. Aw, Higgins, thank you. That's so nice. So I just made. About two and a half million credits. Ooh. Oh, I want to do both of those. Those are extremely fast and inexpensive deliveries. Economic model you can influence kind of reminds me of this game Windward. 
Windward. Uh, what kind of game is that? That's not something I've ever heard of, actually. So, need to go to Anet to go to Wolf 127. Ooh, an Age of Sail game. I'm a fan. Uh, I guess I want to go to Hranit first. Yes, I do want to go to Hranit first. Yes, this, um, the economic model has always been in the game for, like, uh, buying stuff and, you know, like, only a certain amount of stuff is available to buy, so if somebody else buys it, it they might be out of stock. Ship released. Engines engaged. Um, but the, like, boom and bust stuff is... Landing gear retracted. After they released Horizons, it would just, it went into the base game, but it was, it was, like, an update to that whole model. You just pilot your little ship around port to port doing missions, etc. Okay. Frameshift drive charging. This, the economics in this always remind me of, uh, and it's a game that nobody's ever heard of, but um, a game called Federation. Four, three. Well, you do things two, for a time they grow. Okay. One, engage. That makes sense. A game called Federation, which was on AOL Games back in the mid '90s. Um where you started off as like you had insurance on your life and a borrowed ship and nothing to show for yourself and you started by like running cargo and then you could own corporations and then you could fuel scooping own planets and then you could own systems like you could be the administrator or whatever of stuff and uh, my dad played that. Disengaged. I played it some, but then at some point, like, I don't know, I made a mistake and got killed without rebuying insurance, and then I got killed again, and I was just done for. So sad. Um, but yeah, he played that game for a long time, and he had uh, at least two star systems or two planets that he owned, and people had factories on his planets and blah, blah, blah. Now for more stuff, more missions, etc. Yeah, so reputation, which in my mind never ever mattered before, matters a lot more in the game now than it did a year ago. So yeah, like, you start running missions with somebody, you build a reputation in that system or with that faction, and then they are more likely to offer you more and better missions the higher reputation and rank with them you are. So yeah, that actually sounds a lot like what you're saying. Oh, also that game, that game was a uh, mud. It was um, uh, it was all there was there's no um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Graphics. It was a text-based adventure. Lacan, Bravo, Alpha, Delta. Submit a docking request before attempting to land at this federal station. I love open-world space games Access with sim granted. stuff in them, Make at least in concept. Three, yeah, um... Freelancer is something that I think about when I play this game. Landing gear deployed. In, in a lot of ways... This game has more than Freelancer, but also less. Didn't the, isn't the dude that's now making Star Citizen, didn't he make Freelancer, Chris Roberts? I know that he made the Wing Commander games, but... Um, I do not remember. Decrease your speed to one zero zero. The thing that trips a lot of people up about Elite is that there is no mission structure. You just, you get missions and like there's no breadcrumbs to something bigger. You you have to connect those dots yourself. 
Which is not to say that there's nothing to do. Like, you can get missions from the very first time that you start playing. Enjoy your stay at the facility, Commander. It's just not... Ooh, I need to sell all of my stuff. Yeah, I get 100,000 credits for going and scanning stuff on my way from the outer rim. Incoming message. Ooh. Yay, my reputation is cordial. So if you're the kind of person that likes that thing, then this game has literally infinity content for you because there are like 115 billion procedurally generated stars in this galaxy or something like that. You know, something just insane. Ooh, friendly reputation with a superpower. Mining, killing. Survival. Let's just go. It's just a straight up sandbox. Are you saying this is or that uh, Freelancer was? Because I remember Freelancer having at least a like super loose mission structure, but I could be misremembering. It's been a long time and I actually watched more than I played. This one's been on my radar, I just didn't have the impetus to pick it up and get sunk in. Um, that's kind of been a lot of us. Oh yes, this is this game is a straight up sandbox. It has the hooks to have missions and it structures those missions in a way that if you do missions you get more missions. But there is not like a... The Federation needs you Ship released. Go for to become their elite pilot. Like there are systems wherein you can become the Federation's elite pilot, but you have to seek out that. Landing gear retracted. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm speeding shut off. Never had any fines for speeding, let's do it. It's funny. You have the uh, in my little Watch streaming six, group Commander. here. That's the elite Frame bug between charging. people talking about it, and then the aliens got discovered, what was it, a week ago, two weeks ago, and then I've been playing it and kind of not shutting up about it. A lot of people have Four, bought and started three, playing two, the game, one, and engage. hopefully we will get a wing going, um, you know, to just have some fun playing together. and uh, people enjoy it and stick with it. One of the things that actually has helped a lot of people get into it is that um, the controller support is both a lot better and I have found a controller scheme that works well. I actually have a throttle and stick. I have a HOTAS, but I have not used them in over here because the controller does basically everything I need it to. How does the multiplayer even work for something like this? Um, there are three basic states to the world. So there's open play, which is uh, it is an MMO, but it's just the biggest MMO ever, where you might not run into a, another person the entire time that you're playing. Um, there is solo play, which is you're still connected to the elite server and things that you do still affect the economic status up and down of all of the various stuff. But you are just in your own solo instance. You're in you're online, but in your own instance. Uh, and then there's like friends wing or something. And you can you can join a group. You can either do that in open play or you can join up before you enter the instance. And in that case, I think you're just in like a four player instance. Yes! I actually bought my joystick before I got Elite, before I think it even came out. 
I bought it to, <laughs> to play TIE Fighter. I bought it to play X-Wing and TIE Fighter, and then I played them for a little bit, and then someone was like, you know what's actually good on those? Controller support now. And then I played them a little bit with the controller, uh, and I played a little bit, and then I put it away. It's in a box. I mean, like, it's not a huge loss. I feel like I got a lot of my money out. It's only like 50 bucks, but... Some people swear by their Hotas, and there's just not room on this table for it. Could you use a Hotas with Kerbal Space Program? Would that even make sense? Uh, Hotas is hands-on throttle and stick. It's just the, the joystick, but also a throttle. It would? That's fucking rad. Basic, Kerbal is basically a flight sim. Most of my exposure to Kerbal is um, Giant Bomb playing it, uh, where the giant bomb guys from New York City uh, said, we are going to put a Kerbal on the moon and bring him home, and like that is most of my exposure to it, is them playing it and messing around with it and talking about it and stuff. Docking request granted. I like how at the smaller spaceports they don't yell your name when you get here. Kind of a fun touch. That's a bad place to, to put a landing pad. I guess they the ships can go up and down, but there's a, a big fucking tower right in front of it. Landing gear deployed. Oh, just land. There Locking we go. successful. Engines yeah. disengaged. In some ways, it's disappointing because it has almost no space program management type mechanics. What do you mean? So the other thing is, I don't think I've ever really seen the campaign mode where you like have to build up your various, um, whatever they are, the uh, the different like parts of the program. So I d I have no experience whatsoever Incoming message. with that. Oh, I'm a shining example. Thanks, I'm the best. Time delivery. This is cool. These are actually reasonable paying mission missions. I'm not getting any closer to where I was going. But you can make ships and then fly them on missions. You're pretty much just designer and a pilot. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what did I want to do? So what I want to do here is I want to go and see Felicity Farce here. I'm pretty sure that's who I want to go and see. I'm going to double check before I actually leave this system. Yes, bring meta alloys to her. Seven rupees. Seven jumps. Okay. Cool. This is actually not very far at all. Uh, reputation. Cordial. Cool. 
So if I kept going back to those various places, I guess I would get more um, reputation and I'd get more and better missions with them. Which is my plan, just not in any of these engaged. particular places. Landing gear retracted. It's still too close to this uh, platform. Frame shift drive charging. So the campaign doesn't have any of that like administrative type stuff. It has a little bit you can pick up contracts to do certain things. Oh, like different space missions Fuel and stuff. Disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Because I know that it has like a stable of pilots and scientists and stuff. Do you not like cultivate your your stable of little green mans? Four, three, two, one. Engage. But the main focus of the mechanics is designing a ship to for one particular mission and then personally flying that mission. So, yeah, that tracks with what I'd seen. I was just under the impression that there was also more. Like, there, wa there was the management part, but even so, Fuel even after disengaged. you had done the, the management part, you still Frame were shift drive building and flying. Yeah, you have Kerbals with various skills. Okay. Bonuses when you're flying. Oh, the yeah. Okay. Look at that star. That's a hell of a thing. Just an empty system with only the star in it. Frame shift drive charging. You can't plan a mission, then send them off to do it. Yes, so I... If I didn't know that, Four, I at least assumed three, that. Two, one, engage. What you're saying is that you'd like a government. Frame shift drive is you, charging. You would like to be the director of NASA rather than literally every NASA pilot that has ever and will ever exist on that planet. Four, three, two, one, engage. One, like NASA Crusader Kings. I wonder if there are any games that are. Li I'm. You know what? I guarantee that there's some kind of NASA sim out there. I feel like I've, I've maybe even heard about it. The, you know what? There. I think there's. It's maybe called like Space Race. Fuel scooping. And you either. Fuel um, scoop disengaged. You either pick 
the United States or you pick Russia. Shift drive charging. And you race the other one to either space or I probably the moon. Because if you're just racing them in the space, then that's a pretty boring NASA simulator, isn't it? Four, three, two, one, engage. Like Buzz Aldrin Space Race or something, maybe? I swear I've heard about that before. I could never get into Crusader Kings 2. I own it, and I own probably a fair amount of the, the DLC from whenever I bought it on Steam sale for... None dollars. Armstrong Space Program Manager. You know what? I mean, I could be mistaking it. I, that could be it, too. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Don't quote me on it. Yeah, I've, One, I've played engage. a little bit of CK2, I've played a little bit of EU4, and I've played a little bit of Stellaris. Um, Stellaris is one that I kind of like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stream it, and then I just kind of have always had something in front of it that I wanted or felt like I should stream. So Stellaris is gonna be one of those Saturday afternoons, someone teach me how to play this video game, oh my god, sorts of things. Or, or maybe, you know, I'll, I'll devote a week to it or something. Um, but CK2, like, the fact... It sounds so weird to say. But, oh, you, you are a person is kind of hard. Like, somehow... As a video game, it is conceptually easier for me to, to understand that you are uh, a nation, or you are a corporation, or whatever, or you're a federation, rather than, like, you are one person in this universe, and then when they die, you're, you're their heir. But also, like... In, in the feudal way, like, if you were the king of England, you literally are England, but you're still also the king, so you have to, like, throw a party and talk to your wife and, like, man manage your, your vassals and... EU4 clicked with me a lot more quickly. You being interdicted. No, I am not. kind of grounds your planning. Personal stuff is is pretty minimized stuff in, in Crusader Kings. I mean, you know, I, I understand that it is it is very gamified. Aside from the whole dying part, it was just like the whole thing. Like, you have to deal with literal, even if you, you are just a duke, like you're only a duke or you're a baronet or something, all of the, you have to do just literally all the things. Um, marry off your, get yourself married, marry off your daughters, make sure that your sons are taken care of. Uh, and then you have to be like, well, how should I tax my subjects? Do I even have the ability to tax my subjects? Why? This planet's cool. Okay. Um, oh, it is a fucking planet. Shit. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Orbital flight engaged. So are you circling the entrance star? That is an actual person talking to me. It's 
spent a lot of time just weaseling my way into the line of succession of various dynasties, but I love that plotting stuff. It's not that I dislike it, I actually like it very much. I am way too fucking far away. It's just that I could not get a grasp on that while also figuring out all the other parts of the of the game. Like how to build stuff and how to do a war and how to, you know, like just everything. This went well. That was a good planetary entrance. That's a real person right there. That is a big ship, too. So yeah, I actually think that I, there is so much about um, CK2 that I like in concept and just was not able to execute on it like as a video game. I've enjoyed my time watching and reading about other people playing it, that's for sure. Landing gear deployed. So now I get to talk to this lady and give her some stuff. And now I can make stuff. Faster boot sequence. Sort by increase frame ship drive weight. Change. Ooh. 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 That is a thing that I would like very much. So, mass. All right, so this is kind of a con confusing chart. Oh, I see. So I can only have one of these things at a time. Primary effects. Integrity. Power draw is down. Mass is down. Optimized mass. Oh, oh. Cool. This is entry level stuff, but it will get you further and faster, Commander. Longer range jumps are allowed with this modification at the cost of model integrity and higher mass. So it's not randomized effects. It's not randomized in that you know essentially what's going to happen every time but it's within a window if that makes sense so like the things that it says will happen will happen armored power plant charged power plant low emissions power plant interesting Engines, oops, nope, good engines. 5A thrusters, dirty drive tuning, drive strengthening, 
drive turning yes yeah right so you know what it's going to do you just don't know the exact value and then there's also um secondary effects it is a little bit of the roll of the dice so you basically bring your resource to the sources to them say roll the dice for me and then generate and then you also get potential secondary expense uh, effects or experimental effects something that i have not seen anything of i've only i've only done this three times now so i'm gonna try it so it gave me seven percent increase in mass one percent one percent four percent um but it made it one percent lower so I don't know what that actually did. So it gave me basically nothing. Or, oh no, I guess it gave me 40, 50 tons of optimized mass. You want me to apply this modification? Applying the modification will override the previous modification. Do you want to proceed? Yes, sure. That was not great, but it was an upgrade. So I guess you just do a various amount of, of these and you unlock. So basically, my understanding is you do these and you unlock. Uh, Uh, you can level up to level, I don't know, probably five. What is optimized mass? I assume that affects range. Yes, so let me see if I can explain it. Optimized mass means the mass of the ship. That is an optimal jump range. So basically, if you increase the optimal mass, the frame shift for the frame shift drive that means that it can jump further with a larger ship at least that's my understanding all right so now but in layman's terms it means you jump you do you done go farther now so jump range is uh 32.12 total light years if there's some sort of like all the bonuses are applied. Now, I would like to go back to my ship. My other ship. I suppose I could have gotten it sent, but I'm just going to fly there. So, the map kind of sucks. Who is that? It's my transporter. That is... Viper. Yes. All right, so one second here. <laughs> Seventeen Draconis. Where is that? Okay, so it is sort of on the way. That is fucking far. Okay. Um. All right. What I might need to do is go there and have my ship ferried. Shit. That's far. Is 
set commit. Okay, Lido McPherson. So I'm going to ship my ship. Uh, yes, because I am not sure that that ship is really equipped to make that kind of travel with its current loadout. This one has a fuel scoop and all of that. Oh, I do want this. Sorry, I'm kind of fussing around. Um, yes, you can you can ship your ship or less. Paradiso. Five A level two with current lowdown. I'm getting thirty eight light years. It's pretty fast, or pretty far rather. So how far is this? This is 22 jumps. This is going to be a little bit of a ride. So my other ship that I'm thinking about is a combat ship. Ship restraints disengaged. Commence departure. Landing gear retracted. Ooh, I'm friendly with Farseer Incorporated. Uh, but, so it's a combat routine. ship, and it can Safe jump travel, about three on, quarters of the distance that this can. But it does not have a fuel scoop, and I could put one on it. I have to mess around with it. anyway. It has a much smaller fuel tank as well. Frame shift drive charging. So I'm going to go there, and then you can pay to Four, have your ship three, transported two, to wherever you are. One, it's probably going to be expensive and take a while, but then I'll have my ship there. Nope, don't want to crunch back into the plane. Thank you. Learning that sometimes long term progress in Elite takes a shitload of a long time, I wish. Now that I'm thinking about it. How far Fahey wants. Oof. Well, no, that's out by Maya. That's not that much further. Changed my mind. Is there a fast travel option? You're looking at it, buddy. You just get a ship that travels fast. Frame shift drive charging. 19 jumps. Well, it's not that much faster. Can't make up my mind. Uh, so my understanding is you can, like, hire AI pilots. Uh, and I assume that they could do some flying for you, depending on your ship and all of that. Um, and they could potentially automate it to some degree. But I do not Friendship really know. Drive charging. So as far as I'm aware, this is as automated as it gets. Four, three. I need a beer. Two, one, engage.
Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frameshift drive charging. I feel like if it were more automated, that would take away from a lot of the sim appeal. Plus, it would make things feel smaller, which seems contradictory to the game's style. Good evening, Black Isis. Um, I agree with you. To Four, a reasonable three, degree. Two, one, engage. Like, you know, there are parts of me that says, I wish I could get up for 20 minutes, you know, and just come back, and then that's where I'd be, but there's also part of me that says, no, like, you're, you are doing this, like, yes, the ship's computer, excuse me, the ship's Feels computer stupid. plotted the course, but you're traveling. You know what occurs to me? I could Fuel even just disengaged. buy a new ship there, possibly outfit it. Frame shift drive charging. Let's see how much it it costs, because it looked like there was a big station there. So when we get there, we'll find out. Yes, I think you would. Four, three. Yeah, true. Two, but a lot of this is not one, particularly engage. engaging. Just arrive, reorder, and hit the gas again. That's true. Um, there are people who are explorers that would come in, to punch into a system, um, like do a uh, discovery scan to figure out what's out there, and then um, like go and fly around to all the planets and scan them. Like that is that is a value to some people. I. I do think that for a lot of people, the appeal is definitely in, like, the routine and roteness of it. Fuel like, it's kind of cool to just, like, every Frame 30 seconds drive, you're doing charging. your thing and you're doing your thing and you're doing your thing. There's always a chance you could run into something. Yeah, I mean, I got interdicted uh, twice when I was doing that delivery. So, like, that's a thing Four, that can happen. Three, um, two. Because One, it was such a low-level mission, I was able to escape interdiction from not very difficult enemies pretty easily. But if it was a higher-level mission and someone interdicted me, there's a much, it's a much greater chance that I wouldn't be able to get away, that I might have to fight it out, um, stuff like that. So there are ways that the game does make random, uh, just you know, the the dullness of travel have the fuel scooping a fuel hint scoop of excitement disengaged. the place where i was Frame actually drive the, charging i believe if if i read the articles correctly the place where i was um that's where the dude was on his way to where all the missions were fucking up. Um, that's where the dude was on the way Four, to, where he ran into three, aliens. Just like two, one of those 15 or one, 20 jumps, engage. whatever it was. Like, that's when the fucking aliens came out and, and zapped him. Which means it wasn't even that far from... A space that had... Uh, that has powers dictated and influence in them. That was not very good at wording right there. Fuel scooping. Forty new objects. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift and also, drive charging. Particularly today, you've seen me do a lot of just like moving around. Like Isis says, yeah, the way they did that three, was pretty cool. I admire two, them for sticking their guns one, and not making it some engage. crazy event. I am totally with you. It is way, way more awesome this way. And, and he just happened to be recording it, so it got out onto the internet.
Fuel um, but what you're seeing me do today is fuel scoop disengaged. Kind of Frameshift drive charging. A housekeeping day. Like if I, you know, if I had the day off today, I could have done a lot of this stuff while I was not streaming. But this is just the only opportunity that I had to to play today. Because um, I three, went 300 two, light years one, way out to engage. that little corner of the galaxy to get the quest. And then I did a little jump mission back and forth to end the night. And then I went back to get the deal, try and pick up missions, did that delivery. And then I knew I only picked up those missions because I knew I was already going somewhere. So I, I went 300 light years in one direction and then 200 light years in another direction. And then I said, all right, and this is the other thing that I'm going to do today, which is happens to be like five or 600 light years away. Whereas once I get where I'm going, you know, like if I'm streaming tomorrow or Saturday or, or whatever, like I will be streaming, doing the thing that I am planning to do once I get there, rather than rather than travel for 45 minutes. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Can you switch to another ship automatically, or do you have to jump there and walk over to get in the other ship? Um, so if the ships are docked at the station, you just go to the shipyard menu and say, I want to be in this ship now. There's not really any out of cockpit stuff. Oops, I guess I should not do that while I'm about to slam into a sun. Fuel scooping. Like I could see you switching back and forth to break it up a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. Fourteen jumps. Almost halfway done. Four, three, two. One, engage. So if the ship is in the spaceport, and it just is there, and you just get it. So I imagine I imagine that I'm not going to be able, if it's 100% sim, I don't know if I'm really up for that. Scooping. When traveling takes a long time like this, yeah, yeah. So there's no out of ship action at the moment. Fuel scoop um, disengaged. You're Frame you're in a vehicle charging. of one sort or another always. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Place. I respect it though for sure. I'm with you. Fuel scooping. Can do a little bit of scooping because I'm just not sure what other kind of stars I'm going to run into on the way. Twelve jumps? Yeah, we'll be okay. star while we're here. Starting to get a little toasty in here. And off we go. Fuel scoop disengaged.
frame shift drive So yeah, I'm going to plan on either transferring my ship or buying another ship there when I get to where I'm going because I am my plan is to go to a combat zone um, where they have kill contracts Four, out. Three, two, one, engage. So I'm going to try and take a bunch of kill contracts uh, and, and basically do a bunch of mission bounties to try and make some money and make some rep. And this ship is not the ship to do that in. So I will transfer one of my smaller fighters, and that will take time. And then I will see if I can't buy me buy me a temporary fighter also. Although I admit I do not actually know what fuel scoop disengaged, frame shift drive charging. What kind of stuff I can buy when I'm there. I do have to say, after a long week, just like, you're making progress, you're going somewhere, you're doing something, and, and you're just kind of going through this cycle is actually really relaxing right now. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Just chilling out. Friendship traveling drive, hundreds charging. of light years across the galaxy, having a conversation. It's good. Four, three, two, one, engage. And of course, you never have to do anything like this. Like, you could potentially find... Fuel scooping. Uh, ...enough activities to keep you occupied for a long time uh, within the jump range of the Fuel very scoop. first ship Disengaged. that you get. Frame shift drive charging. Uh, between the different systems that you can get to and... Uh, the different activities they now have there. Yeah, you totally don't have to go very far to make, you know, Four, make something interesting three, for yourself. Two, one, and I know the comparison to Eve has probably been made a thousand times. Yes, I've never played Eve. It is, it is one of the games that I would rather read about than play. Even if it's quote unquote not as bad as you think. Like, I just. Fuel scooping. I only have time for too many, so many time Fuel sinks in my disengaged. life. Frame shift drive charging. The vapid answer is my understanding is it has a lot of things in common with this and uh, a lot of things it doesn't. Like, you don't. Four, you don't have three, any. Two, this is an, not an one, RPG. Engage. You really only have one axis where your uh, where your stats go up and down, and that's credits. So, like, you know, I'm talking about. Well, this ship isn't very good for fighting, but there's nothing that I mechanically can do to make it better at fighting to, to make myself better at fighting except like gain the actual manual dexterity and get the equipment to fight to do more fight better though frame shift drive charging whereas my understanding is that you know you get skill points and stuff and you, like, this this just doesn't have that 
your sh your ships are your stats, more or less. One, engage. Eve is really amazing conceptually, but lacking in execution. I don't know that I'd be that uh, ungenerous to it. It just has... A lot of the game is played not in the game by a lot of players anymore. Like, you know, a, a lot of the game is is accomplished not by them actually being logged in. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame shift drive charging. But it seems like it's an incredibly deep game, just in different ways. It depends on what you want. Like, this is a thing that I want. I want to fly around Three, the galaxy in my ship two, and get other ships one, and maybe gosh. beat up with my buddies and maybe, like, oh, well, th there's a civil war and I want to help. I, For whatever reason, I like the, the character portrait, portrait's haircut. I want to help them win the civil war and gain control of this star system. Boom, did it. Um, well, I'm bored now. I'm going to go somewhere else. Like, you know, you can just do that. I'm not going to play for two weeks. That's fine. Nothing changes. Oh, that is awesome. I think it's good. I played it for years and went to Iceland for FanFest several times, but I think it wastes a lot of its potential. That is Frame rad as hell. Drive charging. So you will have to tell me what, what you think its wasted potential is. Because I don't know. Four, three, two... One, engage. Hmm. I wonder if I have to land on the planet. Scooping. Four more jumps. Fuel scoop disengaged. Um, should I grab some fuel? Fuel scooping. Oh. Just for a couple of seconds. All right, Turgid Bulk, thank you for for uh, hanging out, man. Sorry that this was more of a travelogue than uh, a stream of excitement, but uh, I appreciate you hanging out and chatting. Hopefully you'll see you again sometime soon. Fuel scoop There's a much better chance Frame that I will be doing something charging. interesting either in this game or another game. Three, two, one, you engage. Did... Okay, that's cool. Black Ice, it's, that's super cool. What? The fact that you did writing for it is super cool. Yes. So, Big Alliance can breed a lot of bad behavior. Yes. Um, so... If I had played Eve, uh, I probably Fuel would have scooping. been in Goonswarm, because that's that would have been my introduction to the game. Fuel scoop disengaged. Frame right, shift and drive like you charging. Know, one of the reasons people know what that is is that it's notorious for what they have done in various um, various ways in Eve. Four, three, two. One, engage. Almost there. You have a lot of mixed feelings about Moon Swarm. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Frameshift drive charging.
Yes, that is in no way a shocking answer. So, when you say story, like, what Three, kind of storylines are there in one, EVE? Engage. Because all of the, the things that you hear as, as a, an EVE tourist, the things that you hear are the things that are player-made stories. The stories that are written through action. Yay, last jump. We made it. I had plenty of fuel. I shouldn't have stopped as much as I did. Frame shift drive charging. Faraday Keep, Paradiso Outpost. Let's go to the outpost first. It's further out there. Wow, it is so far out that it is in light years. I have never seen a system that uh, they measured the second and third stars in light years. It's wild. I wonder if you can travel to them. Realistically. For a long time, CCP tried to drive the NPC storyline and they got really ham-handed with it. It was frustrating and it, and it turned off a lot of the role-playing community, which was a waste because that's one way to pull players in and keep them. Yes. Very much agree with that. I was involved with some of the role-playing aspects of uh, not EVE, obviously, but other games, and so I, I am picking up what you are putting down. <sighs> Sorry for that. Conflict in 0.0, .0 is obviously the thing that gets all the headlines, but that can be pretty frustrating for people and intimidating. So I don't know how well it pulls in new players to stay who aren't already hooked in with another community like Goom Swarm or Test. Right. Sure. It's n it is famous, but it's notorious rather than... I don't know. I don't know another another better word for it. Something that's not notorious. Shepard. Oh, dang it. I wasn't even looking at the planet. That big loop for nothing.
one thing I will say about EU is that it's the only MMO I've ever seen where you can really build a reputation because everything is happening in the same universe. It's, I, I have to imagine it is the biggest one. Like it is, it is by far the largest one where you could do something like that. We are. Jeff Bridges Incorporated runs this station. go to FanFest and meet someone from Australia who'd run deployed. into in the game. Yeah. So, I was involved with Warning. Speed immediately. Josh. My speed's fine. Bless you. Uh, I was involved with a game called Dragon Realms for over a decade. And... It is a fantasy role-playing game that I started playing on AOL, and then when AOL stopped uh, being pay by hour, it went just they broke off and they went on the internet and they started, you know, having their own service and all of that stuff. And it was ooh, they're in lockdown. Oh my. Um, was a small game by MMO standards, but there were, Incoming you know, message. got a message, uh, there were reputation cordial. Okay, hopefully I can get some fucking missions. Outfitting is in lockdown. Fuck. Lon Lancaster. Well, I can't do fucking anything here. Um, oh good, you can buy a Viper, which is what I would buy here. So ship transfer, I can transfer stuff that would take an hour and the Viper would cost 200,000 credits. So that is what I would do in theory. We'll see if this is meaningful. So I'm going to go to the other port in the system and I will finish my story. Limbo. That's new since you played. Uh, which part? So anyway, finishing my long rambling story, just which is basically all of my stories. Um, it was a community that where you just were the same character all of the time. Uh, it was it was persistent. The world was persistent. They had a lot of role playing events. Oh, the ship transfer thing. Yeah, that's new since like the last time I played too. Um, I mean, I didn't sell all of them, but you, know, you just kind of park them wherever they are, and then if you want them, you go get them somewhere else. Oh wait, do I still have the spaceport? I do have the spaceport still uh, selected? Ship transfers. Jeopard.
There we go. Friendship drive um, and so you could build up a huge reputation because people played that Three, game for years. Two, they had um, one, a con engage. where everyone would go meet up. And I went to New York sometime to, you know, one time to meet some people, stuff like that. Uh, is is the the short of my way too long rambling thing. So yeah, people knew each other by name. Um, you know, like long running relationships. There were in game weddings. All kinds of crazy shit happened. Um, you could build a name for yourself. But that, like, at its peak, there were maybe 2,000 people on the servers. Like, that's as big as it ever got. So, yeah, that's nothing like Eve. So what I m may have to do is go to um, an extraction zone and then and very carefully pick and win fights uh, until they're nice enough. When I played MUDs in high school, CODs is very similar. I have to imagine that most of the MUDs were in a similar vein. You know, if you can, if you've got a game good enough that people want to keep playing, you end up fostering a community that gets pretty close knit. I should have checked the nav when I came in. I guess I still can, can't I? But I think this place is pretty well. New signal source. This has been an interesting day, because I've, I've gone a lot of places, but I don't feel like I've done a lot of stuff. But I am a couple of million credits richer than when I started, so that's something. Big old stretch. And if this doesn't work out, I'll go to the other place and do that, because I know those missions are there. And I can get them. Even though that's going to be fucking far. There you are. Finally can see that plan. They need to add like little lines on the the orbital lines so you can see where you're going. Orbital flight engaged. All right, let's try not to fuck this up. So now I want to glide right down to it. 
understanding. The, uh, the heads up display and the creaking makes it feel like I'm a submarine captain a little bit. Keep on cruising. Cruise, cruise, cruise in. Was not bad. It could have been a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little tiny place, isn't it? Holy shit. Oh, this is just a little checkpoint. There's nothing to this, is there? Man. Slow down. Landing gear deployed. I should be able to land. Get your nose up. Get your nose up. There we go. Use my little buggy. Here I go. Low gravity warning. Go. Uh, I don't know how to go. This is embarrassing. Trip lights, nope. Road switches. It's not it. Driving. Throttle up. Yeah, so I'm I'm trying to. I'm using the same buttons that I would use to throttle up, and it's not doing it. SRV, Scarab. Smith ship details. Wait, wait, blah, blah, blah.
against my ship. Modules. Okay, this is... Oh, huh, that's interesting. I have all kinds of stuff in my little let's RV. I have car okay, I do not have cargo. Action, cargo scoop, turn lights. Turn on. Drive, my boy. Regular, Ron Laxis, SRV, throttle increase. I do not have an accelerate button for the SRV. Now I do. So now the question is, can I turn? I might have to set all of the controls, actually. So now I can go forward and backward. It's kind of cute and stuff. All right, so. Driving. Steering mouse X axis off relative off. Boom. So if I did this, no, mouse is not doing anything. This is wacky. Sorry, sorry again that you are watching me just try and fucking figure shit out. Driving miscellaneous. Cargo scoop. Driving mode switches. All of that stuff seemed to work, so I'm not going to mess with that. Driving. It's a good education if I decide to pick it up. Yep, that's what I'm here for. Um, drive assist. Let's see, what's... Flight assist. Oh, we'll do drive assist be the same thing. Uh, steering axis, regular. Um, all right, so this is pitch. This is roll. And Headlights. All right, let's do this and see how we do. No, right, that can't be. Oh, wait. Drive assist off. Drive assist off. Drive assist off. Drive assist on. Drive assist off. Oh, come on.
five assists, please. Let's turn it on. Want to use the stick? Steering axis. Did I not? Okay, that's it. Did it. Drive, drive assist off. Drive, drive assist on. Let's see how fast she can go. Skidding wildly. Okay, let's let's slow it down. Maybe I do want drive assist off. Holy shit. I'm tearing ass across this planet, though. Oh man, I'm going the wrong direction. Oh well. I was like, man, that looks like an awfully big hill. So what's out here that you can find? Um, I think you can do mining and stuff, but I actually just wanted to go over to this little outpost and um, scan it. Scan the data link and see if there's anything I can find. Look at me tearing ass, though. It at least mostly a little bit works. Got little drones here. Um, I don't know if I have hard points set on this. Let's do that before I get too much closer. Having turret control. Okay, that seems the same. Yaw axis. Pitch axis.
going to turn flight assist off. Or drive assist, I guess, in this case. Still doesn't say how you shoot gun though. nothing actually to scan there. Doesn't look like there's anything going on. Stuck. It's crap. Go back in. Wanna go back in. Am I facing the wrong way? Yeah, I guess so, because I was facing out the back when I came out the first time, right? Look at my little pilot legs. I guess, hmm. well, I've learned a lot. I can't tell, I actually can't tell personally if that's sarcasm or not. Landing gear retracted. Shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Check the mission board. Blah, blah, blah. Order. So there's basically apparently Basically, there are missions to do some rattling and battling, but I can't find them. What is at this checkpoint?
some people who are my friends and some people who are not my friends. Right side maintains dominance in the galaxy. Interesting. So basically what I'm doing is I'm reading up on Paradiso. It says go to Paradiso. So it's possible that there just weren't any missions available to me. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. But basically, my understanding is that this system's in a civil war, uh, and so there are going to be missions to go shoot down those guys who are currently my allies. Which is just thrilling. Hey, you transfer, uh... You transfer your ship in so you have an actual combat ship and then you go do that. But if I can't get any missions, then I can't do I see. Um, someone was giving a tip and trick that uh, worked at that little outpost, but apparently doesn't anymore because the skimmers uh, don't count as ships. So you actually have to fight ships. So this, the uh, system is in lockdown, uh, which means it is possible that this might be it. Like, that I, I can't do anything out here right now. It's possible. <sighs> I can't do the resource extraction zone. But I could, I could still bring my ship over, whatever. It's 
It's a pretty looking Oof, so, take one more look at this, if I can figure out when it's going to come out of lockdown or whatever. Landing gear deployed. to last. Fix that paint. Hey, okay, black market's not available because they're in lockdown. Sold my stuff already. Passenger lounge. <sighs> System lockdown. No seeking transport at the moment. Come back later. So I just happened to show up while everything is just uptight. Uh, 